For this project, we're gonna need our paint, our yellow, red, white, and blue paint, our yarn. We're gonna have one, two, three, four yarns, and our uh, construction paper. I'm gonna open the lid to all my paint, and I'm gonna be careful not to spill my paint. And if you need help, have your mom and dad help you. And maybe for this project, you might wanna put on a shirt that you don't mind getting paint on because there's a chance you might get paint on your uh, shirt. Now I'm getting the yarn and I'm holding at one end of the uh, yarn and I'm putting the rest into the uh, red paint. And I'm gonna drag the yarn across my uh, construction paper. I realized I'm gonna need more paint on my yarn, so I'm dipping it back into the red paint I'm pushing it with my finger, and if you have a toothpick or a popsicle stick, you can use that or just a finger like I did. And I'm gonna drag it across my uh, construction paper. Now that I'm done with the red paint, I'm gonna put the lid back on the container and make sure that it's closed tightly. And I'm gonna get the blue paint I'm gonna take the yarn and I'm gonna hold one end of the yarn and I'm gonna dip the rest into the um, blue paint. I can use, you can use your finger or you can use a popsicle stick or a toothpick to push it in. Once you have paint on your yarn, drag it across your construction paper. Be as creative as you wanna be. It is your paper. And when you are done, just put the lid back on your paint and get your yellow paint. And again, we're gonna get a yarn and hold one end of the yarn and dip the rest into the yellow paint. I'm gonna take the yarn and drag it across my construction paper. And when I'm done, I'm gonna put the lid back on and get my white paint and uh, grab my yarn and dip my yarn into the white paint and drag it across my construction paper. You can do however you wanna do it be as creative as you want to be. And when you're done, just put the lid back on your paint and then you're done. And we have our yarn painting.